Typically, the risks are monitored by knowing the clinical situation, but in monitoring lymphedema formation, in the past it's been very crude and rudimentary. We, it was very subjective. Um, we would take a tape measure and on routine intervals measure patients' extremities and compare one side to the other to see if there's any difference in those measurements. The problem with doing that is it's completely subjective. My measurement could be very different than your measurement or my nurse's measurement. And even my measurement on a different day, I could take the measurements differently. So it's very uh, crude, the, the way that's, that was done in the past. Um, and we couldn't detect lymphedema in patients until it was clinically evident. And at that point, sometimes it can be too late or at a point where it's hard to prevent or further re reverse. They're stuck with what they have at that point and um, we do our best to help them live with that. There have been new technologies developed like bioimpedance spectroscopy which can detect extracellular fluid changes before they ever become clinically evident. So we could never measure this with a tape measure um, no matter how many measurements we took because it's not something you can see. We call that not being clinically evident. So um, those are ways that it's monitored and now luckily we have new ways that help us ca ca catch patients and detect patients before they have a serious issue with lymphedema. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.